Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment, man. Do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and turn the notification bell on. Yo, I got some fire content, man. WAC 100 got a call from the feds, and some federal inmates is confirming that Big Meech is a rat. Now, they're saying based on his status as a super kingpin, his mandatory minimum would have been life in prison. Now, they're saying that he did what Alpo Martinez did, which is the, you know, they'll, the feds will give you life as being a kingpin because your enterprise is making more than a million dollars a year. So they'll give you 30 years after you cooperate instead of giving you natural life. So, so that's what they're saying about Big Meech, man. Who knows if it's true? Only time will tell. I guess we'll have to pull the paperwork. Um, but he is uh, coming home next year. He just got a reduced sentence. So I'm going to play the content, man. Let me know what y'all think. Let's get it. I got a call, boy, about that big meat nigga. They just called me from the feds. What what I tell y'all when I first came in? They home, called right? me from the feds. They told me. Nigga, what they told me. He said, Big Meach is a rat. Him and his brothers is rats. They said, whack. Here go the details. He got super kingpin status. That fall on the 848B. Anytime they could prove that you made $1 million a year and you was ahead of the organization, that comes with life. He said Big Meech and his brother did what Alpo did. And Alpo told you he did. He cooperated 5K1 or Rule 11 and got to 30 years. Under the 848B, if you cooperate, they'll give you, they'll give you the 30. He said, here go another thing that any nigga who then did federal time knows, right? He said, with the CCE, which is a uh, continual career criminal enterprise, and under the 848B, he said him or his brother never went to a USP. He said they did all federal, they did all their time in federal correctional centers. Ain't no way a nigga up on the 848B ain't touching the USP. Now, I don't know, G Wayne. You been to fit. That's real shit. I'm telling he, you, man. He said ain't no oh, institution that nigga been to been a federal correctional center, yeah, not a USP. A, is that like the one two yard the USP is it, No, it's like a three yard and a two yard in the camp. You got you got a a, a medium federal correctional facility uh, FCI institute they call it and then you got a low and then you got the camp USP is the highest you gonna get but they ain't said, lying but if you got a part of the super that, team pin, yeah, you're going straight to the USP you going straight to the USP so in 25 years this nigga ain't never touched a USP yard that's how you really know he's a and, triple and, and that's how you really know because he been getting in trouble, right? Phones and shit like that. So your points go up. They supposed to, if your points go up, then you go up to the USP. You don't go down. He said, how a motherfucker got, got a, how a motherfucker up on the 848B super kingpin status and the motherfucker go, that carry life and the motherfucker gonna say, yeah, the judge just gave him 32 months off. I told you. So man, he got an early release. I've been in Oklahoma with that nigga twice. He was going back to court. I'm telling you, man. I remember G. We got mad at me, man. I said, man, that nigga ain't no good, man. I'm telling you. He said, nah. I said, well, what's constitutes a super kingpin status? He said they can prove you made over a million a year and you was head of the organization. He said, and the world know that he let people know he was head of the organization and that he was making over a million a year. He said the nigga said he was moving what 2,500 birds. A a week, a month, it's, some shit. The paperwork said he's making four million a month. Yeah, so at that point, he said at that point, that made him super kingpin status. He's a continual uh, criminal enterprise. Yeah, he said this nigga ain't been to no USPs. Nigga, he said that nigga would have hit a USP under a 48B. What a thirty-year bid! He said that. He said that nigga would have been bending over, grabbing his ankles. <laughs> now what he told me? Hey, why? Because he would have had to straight go in, straight there, had to put in work. He said, "Bro, the nigga that called me, 
he, the nigga that he said whack, my job was to read the paperwork. I had to know all details of every day so I wouldn't miss nothing. He said, nigga, I come off of USP. He said, nigga, I just did 19 years for a motherfucking conspiracy and they ain't caught me with nothing. Believe me, I know the same thing. I That's did my fact. conspiracy and getting caught with nothing. He said, I ain't getting caught with nothing. I just did 19 years. He said, this nigga's a super kingpin status, making over a million dollars a year, right? Uh, the head of his organization, that carries life on the A48B. He says, the A48A, B, and C. He said, nigga, he said, like Alpo told y'all, he cooperated. They had to hit him under the same thing. But they, he said, the judge would tell you, you can tell, but well, I'm still going to give you 30. He didn't tell you that. That's real, because they got bodies and everything on that case, bro. Yeah. That's mandatory life. He said, That's you can tell, but it's mandatory life, bro. Mandatory life. So, you know, all these niggas getting out. I'm he said, whack. Dialogue. He said, whack. Whack. At the end of the day, he said, I've been watching you. I've been listening to you. He said, the one thing I respect is you don't know a whole lot about the feds, but you got a few niggas around you know about the feds. He said, I know about the feds. I just got out. So, Wack, I got a question. He said, I just got out. Ask that nigga about T.I. and see what he think about him. Oh, you know you know what he going to say. He said, any nigga that's coming in there under the mandatory minimum is automatically that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said, you cover in there under that mandatory minimum, I'm talking about you got five years, 12 months to a day. Here we go. The minimum, nigga, is 10, 15, 20. Nigga, you automatically that. Hey, that's what I'm telling you. You motherfucker get to talking. Man, I got caught with 10 birds and 2,000 pounds of weed. How much time you get? 60 months. Nigga, everybody getting up and walking away. The shit don't add up. My motherfuckers think they can out talk them guidelines. Nah, nigga. It's mandatory. Do you know, you know what that means? Mandatory. Hey, yeah, Wack, you can tell Wack. You would think when he gets out in this five years, they're going to treat him like he's fucking God Almighty coming out? Yeah, yeah the streets yep. is over with. This shit is over with, bro. Yep. yep. They, he they said, whack, I just saw nigga talking about the judge gave him 32 months off. How you getting 32 months off, nigga, when you out 40 years early? What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> How you out getting 32 months off? You don't fall up under none of that shit. He don't fall up under none of that shit. None of that shit. Yeah, that's crazy as fuck. But yeah, Beast, they gonna treat him like shit. He ain't did nothing wrong. This shit's done. He gonna be. Yeah. He gonna be at all the. He gonna be at all the games. He gonna be at all the motherfuckers. Shaking everybody's shows, hands, huh? And they shaking everybody's hands, nigga. He gonna come home like a motherfucking celebrity, bro. Watch. That's real. T, uh, TMZ gonna follow him too. That's real. Hey, so the, 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 that, that selective shit is definitely there because we already know what would happen. Wacky yeah, fucking fire, whispered man. the wrong word, and they want to crucify him. This man can come out from fucking doing a forty-year bid forty yeah. years early, and he he God Almighty himself coming out. Yeah, I mean it's what it is. This shit been over. You know, you got to remember, it's more niggas telling than not telling. So when I go to doing what I'm doing, the majority of people that side against what I'm saying, what I'm doing, is niggas that don't want to get exposed for they telling. It's telling. They telling. They be all loud and happy and doing this shit. When a real nigga walk in, motherfuckers get quiet as a motherfucker. That's a fact, you Wayne, bro. They get quiet. Yeah. Yo, that's pretty much the end of the content, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. How do y'all feel about federal inmates accusing Big Meech of being a rat? Um, do you think this is going to tarnish his reputation 
is one of the biggest uh, drug dealers of our time, man. Especially being a black person, the Black Mafia family, they definitely ran it up to the heights of the cartel. So, and I definitely enjoy the BMF series that 50 Cent is producing on Stars, man. That's one of my top shows. But let me know what y'all think, man. How y'all think this is gonna play out when Big Meech comes home and everything hits the fan? Do you think all the uh, paperwork will come to the light and everything that Big Meech has done will be exposed? Or do you think that um, the truth will come out that he didn't tell on anybody and that he kept it solid for 30 years? But only time will tell, man. Let's see, man. The exposure is exposing. So let's see what WAC 100 is going to pull out of his hat next, man. Until next time, peace. Make sure you like the video and subscribe.